Hey guys, welcome to the 2 a.m. pipe on the patio. Today I'm smoking my Thursday Savinelli, my 320 Roma. That's my Thursday 320 actually, not my 320 Savinelli. And in it, I am smoking some McBaron Vanilla Flake. Mm. If you guys haven't tried that, I highly recommend that. That's a great, great light aromatic flake. Mm. Great room note. Great taste. And it's just Virginia's, I believe. It's Virginia and Black Cavendish. Great, great tobacco. So it is 150, 140 rather, I'm sorry, 140. In the afternoon, thought I'd come out here and get an early start. It is hot. It is in the 80s, just about 80 degrees. We uh, are having just gorgeous weather here. I mean, it's just, it's a little bit, uh, we get the marine layer in the mornings, and it's starting to burn off here. It's, it's got some high, high clouds right now, but it's, the marine layer is gone. We just got some high clouds. Just beautiful. You can hear the birds singing. Just a beautiful day for a pipe. Absolutely beautiful. So I uh, got a phone call the other day from a, a guy I hadn't heard from in over 33 years. And a uh, guy I used to work with, a guy who had a guy who had some issues. And I used to, he had a hard time making it to work on time. Let's just put it that way. And um, so I told him, I said, look, man, I'm going to come by your house. We worked graveyard, so we'd go to work at 11 o'clock at night. And I told him, I said, look, I'm going to come by your house every night at 10, 15, and wake you up and make sure you're up in time to get you to work. Because he lived real close to where we worked. And Because I really liked the guy. He was a really nice guy. Just had some, had some demons and... Uh, but I didn't want him to lose his job. He's a great worker. Did his job despite his issues. Hard working guy. So 
So every day I'd pull up at his house at 10, 15, knock on his door, and his roommates would answer the door, and I'd tell him, hey, man, I'm here to pick up Ben. Can you wake him up? They'd wake him up. He'd get dressed. He'd come out. I'd get him to work on time. Well, I moved on. I went to a different store after a while. And I didn't know what happened to Ben after that. And uh, he called me up. And he thanked me. And uh, he told me he was okay, that he had done, done well and um, that I had made a difference in his life. And, uh, and this was back when I had my own issues going on, you know. I mean, I was no, no saint or choir boy or nothing back then. And, and uh, this was probably Well, it was 33 years ago, so that would have been what? Late 80s, something like that. 87-ish. Somewhere around there, I don't know. I was going through my own issues. But Ben thanked me and he told me he's well. He's got a family, doing good. He's working, got a house. And that he just had to reach out and and thank me. And I I tell you, that made a world of difference for me um, to know that somebody somewhere, somewhere down the line, I had made a difference, you know, touched somebody, and uh, to hear his voice and know that he was doing good. And, uh, he was a good guy, hard worker, man, hard worker. Fun guy, we used to go out and hit the bars together and listen to music. And <laughs> He brought up a story of one time where He was about to get his uh, clock cleaned by the bouncers at one of the bars that we went to. And uh, This was one of my regular haunts, and uh, you know, I jumped in and I said, "I, you know, I got this man. I, I will get him out of here." And they said, "Well, do that because he's about to get, you know, tuned up here pretty good." And he was close. They had circled him and. We are ready to go. So I chewed him out real good. I said, man, I'll bring you to my place. This is my bar. <laughs> it's where I come for a good time. You come in here the first time you come here and you're ready to get yourself thrown out of here. I let him have it. He's like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. He was bringing, so he brought that up. And then, uh, 
there were a couple other stories we talked about that were pretty funny but he's he's in a good place and that makes me feel good and uh So, you can make a difference. It doesn't have to be anything big, just showing somebody you care enough, you know, when no one else will, because nobody else seemed to care about him. And he was, you know, this close to getting fired. not showing up that was a good feeling it's a good feeling to get that call and, and to hear that hear from him talk to him again and uh, just to know that he's doing good that he broke the cycle and that uh, his kids are doing good and his family's well. So good news, that was good news. Sometimes it doesn't take much to make a difference in somebody's life. That's the point of this whole thing is just being there can make a huge difference. And you may not know it for 33 years down the road. I mean, you may never know it. He just happened to see my barbecue channel. Contacted me through that and found me on Facebook and then wouldn't let me go <laughs> till we got till we got to call each other. So but uh Just being present in somebody's life can, can make a huge, huge difference, even though you don't think it is. And uh, it can make a huge difference. All right, guys. So anyway, just wanted to share that little story with you. Just to see somebody that's in a bad place, try and be there for them. Don't, don't toss them off like the refuge. Don't shoot your wounded is what I'm trying to say. Try and give them aid as best you can. Don't shoot your wounded. Um, love you guys. God bless each and every one of you guys. And uh, I hope if you ever need someone, that someone is close by and there for you when you need them. Love you guys. God bless.